Marissa, thanks so much for the time. I want to start with that hat trick performance against a Wego. What in the world was working for you to find the the back of the goal three times in one game? Um, I norm I have a shot that I like. I always like to lift into the goal. In that game, I just had uh, some pow extra power in me that I could lift it right into the corners of the goal, and my accuracy was just going great for me that game. All right, there's got to be at least one shot that was the most memorable of the three. Which one was it? Probably the third when it completed the hat trick. Was there anything style-wise that was different about it, or just knowing that you completed the hat trick? Just knowing that I completed the hat trick. None of them were super amazing shots, but just knowing that I completed the hat trick and that we were even farther ahead was really exciting. That's awesome. I want to look back at that uh, matchup against Moravia, scoring the game winner against the Blue Devils. It was a one nothing final. Take me through that game winner that sealed the deal and gave you the victory. Um, it was a very close game throughout the whole game, so it was very high tension. And we finally got in a circle, and I just had the opportunity, so I took the shot, and it went right in. So that was very exciting. Coincidentally enough, yesterday you faced off against Moravia, and you ended up losing that game by one. But I kind of want to look at that battle that you two have had the last week and a half or so, because you beat them by a score, they beat you by a score. What's made them such a tough opponent since you faced them twice this season? They have good passing. Once they get down past the 50, they can pass around our defense. And they have a really good goalie that can stop most of our shots on the first or second shot. Obviously for you as a senior, you've been able to develop your skill more and more as the years go on. What do you feel like you have improved the most on uh, during your time there? I've developed a lot of passing, being able to look up and pass to get down to the circle and then get it back to take a shot and really work with my team to move it down the field. We're chatting with Marissa Berghorn, our Feeling Excellence High School Athlete of the Week, powered by Cayuga Health. You currently lead the team with 22 points. Why do you feel like you've been able to be so productive? Um, just hustling and having the drive to score and to win. I always want like to have my team do well, so when I do well, my team does well, and the other way around. So I just want everyone to be successful and just to win. How have you seen your team develop or maybe get better from early on in the fall, preseason, before school was even going on? How have you seen your team get better up to this point? At the beginning of the season, we didn't really talk together or pass very well. We just wanted to take it for ourselves and sort of play individually, but we've really grown and um, our passes have started to connect to help us move down the field more, and that has made us pretty successful. Marissa Berghorn, our Feeling Excellence High School Athlete of the Week, powered by Cayuga Health. She had a hat trick 
in a win against Owego, also scored the game winner in a win against Mariano as the New York Valley Cardinals came away with a couple of victories. What are some goals that you have for yourself, and what kind of goals does this team have for the rest of the year? Um, some goals that I have for myself uh, to get some more assists on um, other people, other my teammates' goals, and to just do the best I can on the field. And some of our goals as a team is to make it into sectionals and actually win a sectional game and go pretty far in the sectional route. Well, Marissa, before we let you run, we like to do what's called our Fueling Excellence Fast Five, where we get to know you a little bit more, dive a little bit deeper into who you are. Are you ready for these five fun questions? Sure. It's time for the Fueling Excellence Fast Five. Let's have a good time with this. First question for you. What is one food that you absolutely love to eat after a long day of practice, maybe a really tough game out there on the field? What's your go-to food? I always eat a sub after a game. Every (laughs) single game, my dad always brings me a sub. So I always look forward to that after after a long game. All right, we need the details. What, What are we talking about? What kind of meat? What kind of cheese, if any? What kind of toppings? What are we looking at? I always get turkey. And I don't really like cheese, so I skip that. But then I get spinach, tomato, pickles, olives, and cucumbers. Oh, I'm starving right now. Excellent. Second <laughs> question for you. What is one song that's on repeat on your playlist right now that you can't stop listening to? Um, Just a mixture of Disney. I really like Disney songs, so not a specific song, but just Disney in general I listen to. All right, awesome. Third question. This one might be based maybe a little bit off your previous answer, but what is your favorite movie? Um, currently, it's the new Aladdin that just came out. Excellent. Is there another one that you really like, too? I really like um, Rocky, uh, specifically Balboa. You can't go wrong with some Rocky. Awesome. Fourth question. Who is your funniest teammate? My funniest teammate is probably Allison Walker. She can never fail to make someone laugh. That's awesome. And final question for you. What is the best part of being a student athlete down in Newark Valley? Um, The best part is there's always lots of support from the teachers and just everyone. And you can never, um, there's never enough students at the game. that They always come out and support. And it's just, they're very supporting. That's awesome. Hey, Marissa, congratulations for being our Athlete of the Week. Congratulations on the great year that you and your team have had so far, and thanks so much for stopping by BTO. Thank you. 14-4 and four record and finished the regular season as Section 4 Division Three champions. In their first Section 4 playoff game, they came back from a two-goal deficit to score the time goal with no time remaining on the clock to force overtime. The Cardinals won that game in overtime to advance to play against Sydney in the semifinals. On Tuesday, with just over six minutes remaining in the game, the Cardinals were once again down by a score of two to nothing. The Cardiac Cardinals then scored twice in the final six minutes and held off a last minute Sydney rush to force overtime. The Cardinals scored two minutes in overtime to earn a spot in today's finals. And now let's introduce the team. Freshmen and sophomores. Number 25, Jasmine Graham. Number eight, Rachel Walker. Number two, Amber Slavic. Number 59, Hannah Holt. Number 11, Hannah Ferguson. Number 24, Phaedra Day. And number 7, Taylor Benjamin. And now the juniors. Number 21, Chloe Yetter. Number 16, Allison Walker. Number 3, Lois Kidney. Number 17, Cindy Jefferson. And number 23, Emma Clark. And now for your seniors. First, number nine, Savannah Seymour. Number four, Emma Morgan is not here. 
Also at number 15, Captain Sarah Merton is not here. Also at number 22, Ashley Miller. Number 91, Gavin Blee. And Captain number 5, Cassidy Hoffmeyer. And Captain number 12, Marissa Burkhorn. The team will be departing to Vessel in a few minutes for their game. Let's give them a great send off. This is the time to remember Cause it 